Shalom, everyone. In the list of the last Dibra, Lotachmod, the Torah tells us you're not allowed to covet, you're not allowed to desire certain things. Lotachmod, Beisreyecha, Avdo, Viamoso, Shoro, Vechamoro, in Parshas Vaischanan, where Lotachmod appears again, Sadehu, the Chol Asher Reyecha. The Pasuk concludes after listing every single detail, every single item specifically, it tells us the Chol Asher Reyecha. And the question is obvious. The question is one of Mimonoshach. Either way, tell me, either way, either list all of the items specifically, or just say, Lo Tachmod, Kol Asher Reyecha. Why do you need to list every single item specifically, and then at the end of the Pasuk, the Chol Asher Reyecha? Rav Moshe Tzuriel, a Mechaber Sefer, a big Talmud Chacham who lives in Bnei Brak, in his Svarim on the Parsha, the Otsros series, Otsros HaTorah, Otsros HaMusser. So in one of the other Svarim, he lists, he gives, a, he gives an answer and explains as follows. We all know that every single one of us has a talent. We're all given gifts by the Ribbon Shalom. Some of us are musical, some of us are athletic, some of us are real hands-on, we're real techies, some of us are very smart, we're intellectually capable beyond other people's capabilities, Every single one of us has beautiful talents and gifts given to us by the Ribbon Shalom. Thank God, it's a beautiful thing. We have to make sure that we treasure our talents. We have to make sure that every single one of our talents, every single one of our gifts is focused on and maximized to the nth degree. Not just a pun because it's the last of the Aserah Sadibros, the 10th commandment, but to the nth degree maximize it as best we can. And if we make sure that we maximize our every single detail, our lo tachmod base reyecha, lo tachmod shoro v'avdo v'amoso, then we won't need the chol asher reyecha. But if we don't, if we're not careful, and we don't maximize, we don't appreciate, and we don't treasure, our own talents, then we're going to go after that specific talent or the specific talent that we're missing rather in another person's in another person's life. If we're athletic, we're going to want to be musical. We're going to go after the talent of being musical that our friend has. If we're musical and we want to be an athlete, we want to be athletic, we want to be coordinated, and we don't have that, we're going to go after our friend's trait, our friend's talent of athleticism. And if we do that, warns Rav Tzuriel, then we're going to want the chol asher reyecha. We're not going to be able to be careful. We're not going to be able to help ourselves. If we want one thing, one thing is going to lead to five things, and five things are going to lead to ten things, and we know what ten things are. Ten things are already the chol asher reyecha. Let us all treasure our talent, let us all make sure that we're maximizing our potential. And most importantly, whatever talents, whatever gifts we were given, we have to remember they were given to us by the Ribbon Shalom himself. And it's to use in the most kadosh, in the most pure way possible. Wishing everybody a good Shabbos. Shabbat Shalom to all.